Adrian, what's happening? Hello, Roderick. Washing your hands again, huh? What is this, the uh, tenth time today? What a freak. You know, his hands are clean, but his hair looks a little dirty. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. And is that watch right? Oh, man, it's 225. Swirly time. No, not swirly time. Not again. Actually, that watch is two minutes fast. Go grab the door. The Roderick, wait, wait, wait. How about this? I'll give you my bike for keeps and all my lunch money every day, and I'll do your homework for the whole year. OK, it's a deal. But first, swirly time. You didn't have to drag me down here. I could have talked to you in my office. Well, I'm more comfortable here. I got my own coffee mug. I got the AC set just the way I like it. Yeah, well, can I at least call my wife? We've already called her. She's on her way. So let's start at the beginning. You knew Mr. Monk from the neighborhood. You hired him to follow your wife. He told you about Mr. Fendel, told you about Fendel at the hotel. Yeah, but it wasn't my wife. The woman you saw in that bar, it wasn't Marilyn. Couldn't have been. Well, I told you about your wife and Mr. Fendel, and then two hours later, Fendel was dead. It looks pretty bad, Roddy. Um, skipping ahead, 8 o'clock last night. I told you I was home with Marilyn. We rented a movie. What's the matter, Roddy? You look a little flushed. Get it? No. Neither do I. Flushed? He gets it. Trust me. He gets it. OK. Um, Monk. We'll take it from here. OK, thank you. I bet the room is just swirling around you right now, isn't it? It's swirling all around. Your whole life is about to go down the drain. Wait, I have more. Your thoughts are overflowing. Just wait for Marilyn. When she gets here, she'll tell you, OK? We were together all night. I never left her side. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, thank God. Marilyn, you got to tell these guys about what we did last night. I know, I know what you want me to say, but I. I can't lie for you after what you did. What? The truth is that I, I was in love with Doug Fendel. Last night, I told Roderick the truth. I tried to. What are you talking about, Sabrina, Marilyn? Let her talk. What happened? He got furious. He was screaming. He said he was going to kill Doug, and then he left. What are you doing? Hey, Mr. Brody, what time was this? Um. 7.30. He left for about, I don't know, two hours. And when he came back, he was bloody. Marilyn! Mr. Brody! This is ridiculous! Take him down. I don't know why she's saying this. Have this is nothing to do with Marilyn. What are you doing? It's OK. Go on. When I came downstairs, Roderick was by the fireplace. He was burning his clothes. That is totally insane. She's lying to you. Sit down. He gave me this. Told me to get rid of it. I'm going to step outside for a moment. A little fresh air. Mr. Monk? you are. What are you doing? Shh. Listen, you hear that? Birds. They're singing. Is that a lark? Yeah? Uh, I don't know. You know how I feel liberated? I should have confronted that SO you know what years ago. B, I still can't believe I won. Yeah, Mr. Monk, I don't think anybody really won anything. You're right, of course. You're right. Except me. <laughs> I won big time. Are you going to start singing? <laughs> I could. I almost could. You know what I am going to do, though? I'm going to do a cartwheel. <laughs> I'm going to do a cartwheel right here. You might want to stand back. It's my first cartwheel. Hey, that's perfect. Plenty of room there. It's great. I'm going to do it right here. doing? 
A man's been killed, right? A man was stabbed to death. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Uh, this is no time. Cartwheels. Why don't I listen to you? I don't know. On the other hand, I have been waiting 40 years for this. I mean, this is a moment to save her. It may never happen again. I'm doing the cartwheel. I am doing it. I can't do it. It's ghoulish. I mean, one man dead, another man going to jail. Am I a ghoul? No, Mr. Mike, you're not a ghoul. What is a ghoul? Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. The man is my arch enemy. One cartwheel, I gotta do it. I can't do it. Natalie, do the cartwheel. What? Come on, it's a good compromise. Cartwheel by proxy. And don't forget to say we. You gotta say we. Yeah, no. Thank you. Brody, he had a gun. Adrian. You okay? Am I okay? I don't know. I guess I'm everything. Angry, confused, scared. I, I, I can't get my head around this. You think you need a lawyer? Oh, I got 10 lawyers. Just, I never thought I'd need him for this. Well, I have some news. Oh, yeah? I've decided to help you. I thought you were helping me. Well, I've decided to really help you. Until now, I've sort of been faking it. The truth is, I was hoping that your wife was cheating on you. I was sort of glad when you got arrested. You were glad? No, well, figured. It was payback. For what? For what? For, for what? Yeah. For seventh grade. For ruining my life. Were, weren't you listening? Are you talking about the swirly? Yes. Thing? Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, you, you used to terrorize me. Hey, you gave as good as you got. What are you talking about? You didn't just roll over like a lot of those kids. I remember you called me names, you hurt my feelings, and, and you splashed me. I splashed you? Yeah, but I don't dwell on it. What am I gonna do, hold a grudge for 30 years? I figure we're even. I believe this. I cannot believe this. You mean you never even give any idea? Did you... hey. Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's move on, okay? Let's just talk about your wife. Okay. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey!